This is CPE-133. This is experiment 14. What this is, is the classic number sort. And what we're going we're gonna to be doing is sorting four four-bit numbers. So the main objective here is to implement yet another algorithm. And the algorithm is sorting algorithm, and it, it's non-trivial. And so as a quick description here, what it is, is what we're going to do is input four numbers provided by the 16 switches, four four-bit numbers, and we're going to sort those. Quite honestly, I forgot whether it's ascending or descending order. It really doesn't matter. Either way, it's more important that you do the circuit, but it, it'll certainly be listed in the experiment. For the sorting algorithm, many ways to do sorting algorithms. Now, I know computer science people love sorting algorithms for various reasons, but as far as hardware goes, bubble sort is the most intuitive and it's it's in my mind the most easy to implement in hardware uh, additionally when you get this done you can verify that it works visually so the circuit here what is a four four bit number sort uh, it just sits there doing essentially nothing just playing whatever's on the inputs until there's a button press and once there's a button press it sorts the four values on the 16 switches. Now the outputs, uh, you're going to use this, the a special seven segment display device and you'll be able to see the outputs on the display, particularly as it's sorting. So that means use a kind of a viewable clock speed, not too fast, but not too slow. Two hertz might be too slow. Uh, it's up to you what you want to do on that, but let's, it's kind of interesting to see it the sort in action, particularly if you use a bubble sort. Additionally, there's an LED that turns on while you're sorting and when it turns off when the sort is done. So once again, bubble sort's most intuitive and straightforward. That's what you should use. A couple other issues here in this experiment. You're of course gonna use a state machine, but don't use more than 18 states. There really shouldn't be that many states and it. it's more like eight. Uh, to, particularly, you're going to be, need a bunch of modules in here, but not tons of them. Uh, so limit your number of modules to 14 modules. And uh, lastly here, or not lastly, but ensure that the button has been released before it goes from the sort to the uh, wait for button press state. Don't go back to the beginning. Don't go back to that wait state until the button has been released. And so in that, in that wait state, it will essentially wait for another button press. So there's a special BCD display module in this experiment. Use that one. Keep in mind it's different than universal seven segment display. It's, it's listed on Canvas. It's design approach. I, first thing you want to do here is pick your algorithm. Uh, essentially bubble sort's most straightforward, as I said about 10 times. If you don't know what a bubble sort is, just do, do a search on it. Uh, not, not that big a deal. Uh, should be straightforward. Read through it once or twice. First thing you want to do is design your circuit on paper and then generate a state diagram. And for this experiment, once again, visual testing is fine, though you may somewhere in there want to use the simulator to debug it. You could debug it visually, but in some cases it's easier to use the simulator. This will have a clock divider in it also, and so you're gonna to have to mess with the clock divider if you're actually simulating it.